White House lawyer Edward Siskel urged House Speaker Mike Johnson to officially close the impeachment probe into President Joe Biden Friday in a strongly worded letter declaring the allegations against the president were disproven time and time again, a demand that comes as Republicans have begun to publicly acknowledge the probe appears dead. Enough is enough. It is obviously time to move on, Mr. Speaker. The impeachment is over, Siskel wrote, urging the House to instead focus on important priorities like funding our ally Ukraine and passing bipartisan border security measures. The GOP controlled House voted to formalize the impeachment probe into the President in December in an effort to empower the committees handling the investigation to compel the release of more evidence and additional witness testimony. The investigation largely centers around Hunter Biden's foreign business dealings and whether the president used his authority to improperly aid his son or other family members financially. Republicans have published hundreds of thousands of pages of financial documents collected from Hunter Biden, other Biden family members and their business associates, and interviewed dozens of witnesses, while publicly suggesting their findings indicate impropriety on the president's part. None of the unveiled evidence has shown Biden had any direct involvement in his family members' professional ventures and the president has repeatedly denied the claims. Her appeared before a congressional committee Tuesday, defending his decision not to bring criminal charges against Biden for storing classified documents at his home and personal office. Her told the committee he did not exonerate the president but determined the charges would not stand before a jury, in part, because Biden could portray himself as an elderly man with a poor memory. Republicans have floated alternatives to formally impeaching Biden as it appears the probe is reaching an end point. Representative James Comer, RKY, who has spearheaded the investigation as Oversight Committee Chair, has said the House is considering legislative reforms, which could include stricter financial disclosure and foreign lobbying laws. He has also floated making criminal referrals to the Justice Department.